Hello friends, it's me Chinin Coder. This is the sixth video in the JavaFX 3D app development tutorial series. In the last video, we have finished the mouse control in the 3D world. We implemented total control for the mouse. In this video, we will see how to apply a texture to your JavaFX 3D object. So as you can see here, I have applied a wooden texture to my box. And in JavaFX, you can apply any texture from an image or you can apply some color as texture so in this video we will see in depth about using texture in your JavaFX 3d world okay so I just copied the chapter 5 code this is exactly same as the fifth chapter code Le now let us start implementing the texture shall we Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is instead of creating the box from here, I'm going to write a method here, prepare box. So we will prepare the box from somewhere else and return it there. So I need a box, box, box equals new box. Then at the end, I simply return the box, return box. So nothing has changed yet. And in order to apply the texture, there is a material. So there is a thing called Foam material. So in the Java FX dot scene dot paint package, there is a class called font material. Actually, I don't know exactly how it is pronounced. I just learned the Java FX 3D by reading, so it could be anything. I don't know the exact pronunciation. I am going to call it as font material. So you guys can call whatever you want. So font material material equals new font material okay and if you look at the constructor it takes no parameter or it takes a color diffuse color or it will take this much complex thing so right now i'm going to apply nothing but a simple material so this is nothing we haven't applied anything to this material we just created a material and we can apply this material to the box using this box dot set material method and I can attach this material to this box right now let us run the program and it should be exactly same as we have seen before as you can see nothing is changed it is just the same object but if you pass a color here as you can see here you can specify a color so I am going to give a color of maybe blue carrot blue let's find a good blue color deep sky blue dodge light blue let me find a good blue color here let's use this royal blue and let us just run the program and now as you can see our material got that color so if you just pass a color or set the color of the material using material dot set color set diffuse color this is very important set diffuse color or you just pass the first parameter color that color will be given to your object now let me talk about the diffuse color if you are passing a color here that is exactly same as setting the diffuse color so let me just put it right here and if you look at the set methods of this material you can see there are so many things there is specular map power diffuse map superior color diffuse color so many things we will talk about each and every of this one in the upcoming videos for now in this chapter we are interested only in this thing so diffuse map and diffuse color are the topic in this chapter and these are used to provide the color or the basic texture for the 3d object so if you set any color as diffuse color that color will be given to the object or you can specify an image as the diffuse map here so let's set a let's see how we can prepare a box like this with a wooden texture so for that in the resources i have a wood dot jpeg so this is a wooden texture jpeg image and i'm going to give that image as a map here so i can create a new image like this new image and it will take a url so get class get resource and here it, it is under slash resources and wood dot jpeg 
okay so i just have to use git class dot git resource as stream because here you can see it takes either a st input stream or a string url i was passing the url so now the wood texture is attached to this material and this material is attached to the box and let us see how it is looking at when we run the program so as you can see now the wooden texture is applied to our box so with just two lines of code you are able to apply a complex texture to your 3d object and this is very important there are different maps as you have seen before in the material set property here said there are so many other things you can set but this is the most important and fundamental thing this diffuse map or diffuse color defines the color or, or simply the texture of any object so we can use this form material and use diffuse map to set any texture we want so that's the end of this video in the next video we will see more about materials in JavaFX. and as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos